Good morning. <clears throat> Nearly there. I didn't quite let it wind out. Good morning, Sarah. Lovely <laughs> to see you off the, you're in the top of the list of those who are here in the chat stream. And good morning, Kay. I bet you've had a nice weekend. <laughs> and thank you so much for those bird videos and photos. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So it was the click, click, click. Yes. <laughs> I haven't, I'm not using that silent mouse. Too dangerous to hit a button that actually quits the show I nearly did that the other day so not not going to repeat that again so we are here though for our daily Lenneman card spread reading I'm Ross Boundy psychic medium and I'm asking you to connect to your spiritual guidance as we do this so there we go and good morning to Angela lovely to see you here too <laughs> and we've got Diane is here as well, and you're off to Anglesey. Is that how? Where's Anglesey? Not quite sure. Is that Victoria? Anglesey. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, have a wonderful time. And Shaz, good morning to you as well. Are you getting ready for going to swimming? <laughs> yeah, look, I'm going fine. Thank you. Had a disturbed sleep because I was sort of keeping my ears open for peanuts all the time. She had. Um, I did. She's been really good with not licking, so I haven't had that lamp on her, that, you know, the, the those plastic things for much of the time. This morning I heard her in the middle of the night doing a bit of licking, so I tried putting it on and she kept me awake with it because uh, she kept getting it off. <laughs> she's worked out how. So there you go. And good morning, Breeder. Lovely to have you here too. Gorgeous avatar. Love that. Now, uh, I am going to shift over to the cards right now. There we go. Now, I ha it, it looks dark because the lighting's not the best from the window, actually. It's not very bright outside, not here. So it's not supplementing the, the one light that I have showing here that's turned on. So they look a bit dark, but it is the Gilded Breviary deck that I'm back to for this morning just because I felt I wanted to, to start that work week with it and the rest. Yes, ah, so I was right there. Cool. So it is over in Victoria. Right. Torquay near Geelong. See, so yeah, I'm not familiar with all the territory over that way, but I do roughly know where the Geelong is. It's this side of Melbourne, isn't it? As far as Adelaide side of Melbourne and et cetera. So all good, isn't it? And it is a dull morning there as well, Shaz. Yeah, it really is quite dull. And I haven't actually even got my white <laughs> my white uh, eye pe uh, apple pencil thing because that's really good for getting the color up on this like the focus so I'll be relegating to this one now I have pulled out the app the owl card as usual so I'm going to read that one and that's those who fly solo have the strongest wings absolutely do don't they cool you can see the shadow effect can't you <laughs> certainly does do that there we go that beautiful owl and i'm going to leave that one there just to oversee because we have actually got the new my new owl there hang on there he is the one that's got a wobbly head now i'll straighten that up again and um i've got that one overseeing what we're doing as well here we go with the coffin is in the home space We've got the anchor in wet space. The ship is actually in the unexpected, corresponding, <laughs> co-supporting items. We've got the tree in our role. There's yours, Sarah. And we've got the sun in that central position, the uh, pivot uh, outcome card. So that beautiful smile. I, I just love the sundial being the smile in this one. So as we're looking at the, oops, what am I doing? Something has, ah, no, that's all right. I just thought I'd lost something there on the screen. The coffin is actually cleansing things out that we don't need anymore. There's always going to be something that needs to be moved on. It needs that, that's almost like it's dead to us because we don't use it. You know, stuff that's in our cupboards and drawers and the rest that we haven't used for 12 months, two years, five years, 10, we just store it. Um, there's so much that we've got that we keep with us because that's what's at the bottom of this sarcophagus. And we're really needing to move on stuff and we're needing to move on energies from friendships or family that don't belong with us still. So let it move through, blow that refreshing, cleansing energy, air, whatever way you want to do it, a smoke ceremony, anything like that that's going to blow it 
through the ethers and back to Mother Earth or out to the cosmos where it gets put where it's meant to be, not in your home space, okay? So that's what that one's talking about. And good morning, Narelle, lovely to have you here. And Peanuts, yeah, we're heading off to the vet so she gets the next stage of the drain out and some bandages off or things like that. So, And stitches out, I think, maybe. Not sure about that one. Uh, and Kim, good morning, Kim, because it was only five days ago, wasn't it? Wednesday that she had it, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. Yeah, I've got to count them on my fingers. When it's days and months, for some reason, I, I have to use my fingers. <laughs> Isn't it funny how our minds do things? Anyway, there we go. That's what our energy in the with the coffin in the home space is needing to do. Now we're in anchoring and gaining stability when we need to get focused on our work in the in the workspace. So it might seem it's going to be a bit rough through the day today. But you put your anchor down where you choose and need to so that when you're actually needing to concentrate on something and really put focus and energy in on it, you can concentrate on it and not worry about what else is around and about you. So take those moments where you are going to be needing to put that anchor into the ocean bed, so to speak, firmly. Uh, and it can be done. Just firmly feel that essence, that energy of an anchor, like imagine it being grounded into the floor, holding you steady as. You're still able to float above what is issues in the rest because that's what water does. And you just allow that to gain the right level for you so you can get into the work and that's what, and your work, that's what that's there for. With the ship being the one that's going to be uh, popping up every so often through the day, it, I feel it's actually more keeping an awareness on what wind direction you've got. So it's keeping an awareness of what is happening around you so that you can actually steer your ship in the appropriate way at the change of the wind, so to speak, so that you can actually shift and move around as you need to. And that's where the anchor being portable, you can pull it up and read settle it okay and that's what partly the ship is giving us that message as well that we need to be ready to pull anchors and shift when we need to and that's that unexpectedness of it so be ready for some little surprises but you can handle it it's going to be quite fine drop the anchor steady it and get into it again it's that type of feeling the same with you know the coffin that's there in the um, home space we are doing some cleansing and shifting of energies today. It's going to be a little bit mobile. And with the tree in our role, I think it's also reminding us that we are that solid base that is connected to ancestors, the tree of life and all that is in, in that more physical grounded sense that we are going to need to put our wisdom and what we've got as as uh, genetic even, as ancestral, as whatever is we that we can pull in, pull up from below as a resource to use for our day to day, that we are going to be that strength and stability through the day. So you might have people coming to you asking questions and, and wanting things, advice, wanting some things done that you know you can do or you can't, but you're okay to delegate because that's why a tree has many branches. It doesn't do it all itself. Okay, so give that some thought as you're moving through your day as well. You don't have to be everything to everyone. It is this is you following your path because that's what the tree of life is, your tree, your life, your symbolic, um, you know, that symbol. And it's got all the possibilities with the rainbow through it, remember. So that one is your pathway. So, and bring that in with a smile. We've got that beautiful sunshine energy. It may not be shining sun outside, but it's it's that that is within the warmth and the strength and that Ra type energy of the sun, bringing in those more practical things that we're needing to do today as well. It's shining the light on what is the ways to do things, to really get 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 stuff done, to actually understand with that glowing golden light feeling of what's right to do next and that sort of thing and, and what's the right way of handling issues if there is some remember we might have a few stormy waters so just feel into that with connection of your own spiritual guidance remember we are doing this with our guidance available all the time any time that we ask 
and, um, you know, would like to have some assistance, we can. And remember, that is the what is within us. We don't have to look without us either because they are travelling with us all the time. We are, they are, it, it's all that combination of who we are energetically that we can access whatever way we need to. Um, the spirit guides that we need to be asking help from. You may have been introduced to yours and know who yours are. You may not have, but just trust that you do have that level of um, companionship, <laughs> friendship, <laughs> even more if it's what you're needing. You know, it's just that more intimate level of understanding with self and it's within yourself and ask those questions of your spiritual guides too if you need to. Um, those cards are a lovely, lovely spread again this morning and I do like going back to my Gilded Reverie because they are just my favourites still. Even as I'm looking at those wonderful new decks that I'm, I've been using, I, I love the Gilded Reverie. Um, explore your own decks. Remember, you do have that help and assistance with you as well. Any other tools that you feel attracted to, casting the charms, doing runes, you know, throwing runes, you know, or are they called casting as well? There's so many different tools. Astrology, there's so many, so many different tools. Geomancy, all sorts. <laughs> Have an explore if you need to. Um, and sometimes it can just be talking with a friend. That might be all it needs to take to get that wonderful clarif clarification and direction for what you're wanting to do next or feel you're needing to do next, all those sorts of things. So Peanuts and I are off to the vet to get her next stage done. So thank you for all of your loving care, each and every one of you. And uh, thank you from you, Sarah. Lovely to have that with love at the end. I just so love how you finish your, finish finish our show this morning. <laughs> Is it a show? I just love sharing with you all. It's wonderful, isn't it? And uh, all the wonderful wishes for each and every one of you to do, do your best, be the best you. And I'll see you tomorrow around the same time. So it's a namaste for now and to each and every one of you. Good luck, nut, nut, yeah, yeah. So, oh, she's doing so well. I'm so pleased. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>